Never bend your head, always hold it high. It was said by something a great. India's history is one of the great and is having a lot of rulers that has ruled and having a lot of freedom fighters and that one of them is Chhatrapati Shivaji, the legend of all the times and an enlightened ruler. His stupendous achievements got him a unique place in the annals of the nation. The feats he could show to the world in terms of warfare, administration, nature, building were phenomenal which few could replicate. Chhatrapati Shivaji was a visionary who dreamed of a broad and wide Hindu nation that would also proclaim tolerance and comradeship in a tournament. And Shivaji was born on 19 February 1630 at the hill fort of Shivneri in the Pune district and belonged to the Bosley fraternity who founded the Maratha Empire. His mother, Chijaji, was a pious and visionary lady. Shivaji was extremely devoted to his mother. He loved and respected the woman a lot. Jijabai was religious manner left a great impression on him. Shivaji's father Shaji served alongside the Malik Amba who defended the Dakin region against the Muslims, that is Mughals. He always tried to free their kingdom from the Sultanate and establish a Swaraj Empire. By the age of 60, Shivaji managed to gather a band of fiercely loyal Maratha men and set about conquering nearby lands. And if talking about their first victory, we all know that it was the capture of Torna Fort of the Beach, Upper Kingdom. And by 1647, he had also captured Gundona and Rajgir forts and had control of much of the southern Pune region. Coming to the battles of the Shivaji that this brave man has fought, the first battle comes of Pratapgarh. The battle of Pratapgarh in a bed to contain Shivaji. Adil Shah sent his army, where he was general of Afzal Khan, along with 40,000 men to destroy him. Upon weighing his options carefully, Shivaji decided to do something. He planned and destroy him meet Afzal Khan on his home turf at the base of Pratap Fort, insisting that the meeting to be an informal one. And Afzal also agreed. Continuing with this, but at the meeting, Afzal Khan, as expected, stabbed the Shivaji in the back when the two embraced each other. Shivaji was well prepared for this and was protected by an armor he was wearing. He counter-attacked by slaying of Afzal Khan with a walk knock of tiger closed glove and this is a leader coming to the battle of pavan khan battle of pavan khan fought on july 13 1660 at a mountain pass in the vicinity of fort vishalgarh near the city of kolapur maharashtra and it was fought between the maratha sardar baji prabhu deshpande and siddhi masood of adil shah coming to the next is the battle of sinhagar and you all must know about this battle because it is the one of the most inspiring military victories of Shivaji where the loyal general Tanaji Maluser fought to reclaim Kandhana. This battle is known for how Tanaji had fought with a small army. It took place during the night of 4 February 1670 on the fort of Singhagar near the city of Pune, Maharashtra. Aurangzeb now identified Shivaji as a very major threat and sent his uncle Shistar Khan with a large army to beat him. But he didn't stay defeated for long and soon overthrew the Khan and re-established his rule in a few years. As he was the great man, he recovered most of his faults. He was even captured on one occasion but managed to plot an ingenious escape plan by hiding in a basket full of fruits. Shivaji was the center of the power and the growth named the fort of Raigar. Raigar is a district of Maharashtra and this place became Shivaji's capital city. Perched on the top of a hill that was cut off from the western Ghats, the fort was virtually inaccessible from three sides, which made it more easy for the Shivaji to win. Under his roots, not only 
the person who they are working for but also the rules like under jewels were given the true justice they were given the true respect they were also recruited in the army as well as promoted he brought true justice to those who were mistreated he respect the women a lot and raised his voice against any kind of justice so the people of his land loved him and truly worshiped him and why not he allowed his people to follow their religion of choice and he allowed also allowed to people to convert back to being a hindu who were converted to islam by the aurangzeb because of these qualities he inspired his people so much that the maratha empire continued to fight the mughal rule for 27 years after his death shivaji a great gem for this nation breathed his last in 1680 but it's finally remembered for his acts of bravery and kindness towards its people and even today his birthday is celebrated with a grand excitement among all the maharashtrians this was a great shivaji